In this video, we will cover how to use your ElectroCalc Pro to do wire sizing solutions. It will give you fast, accurate table lookups for all your everyday wire sizing needs. We start off by doing an all clear. To do this, press the set button, then the times button. This will set the unit back to the default settings. It also reminds you what code year you are working in. As you can see, we're working in NEC 2020. If your jurisdiction is not working in that yet, it can be changed. To do this, press set, then preferences. Now using the plus and minus keys, you can navigate up and down the list of available code years that are built into the calculator. This goes all the way back to 1996. But we're gonna go back to 2020 and press set to make sure that we are using the most current code year. We'll press the on C button to clear the screen, but all the settings will remain in place. On the left side of the display, we can also see some additional default settings. These are always displayed here. Three phase is the default, as is a 60 degree C insulation rating and copper wiring. Other defaults not indicated on the screen are ambient temperature, which is 30 degrees C, and raceway mode as opposed to free air mode, so we will be working off of table 310-16. Now let's enter some volts and amps and do some wire sizing. In our example, we have 240 volts and 35 amps. So we enter 240 and press the volts button, then 3-5 and press the amps button. Now we just need to press the wire size key. It tells us that we will need an AWG number eight size copper wire based on these entries. Press wire size again, and it displays the maximum ampacity that conductor wire size can carry based on the code rating. Press it again, and you will see the circular mill size of that wire. The final press displays the table reference where the information came from. Now this example has been for a 100% wire sizing situation. If you have a situation where you are doing a motor load and you need to do it at 125% on the ampacity, press set, then wire size. By pressing set first, we are selecting the second function of the wire size button as indicated on the yellow plastic case right above the button where we see 125%. We now see 125% indicated on the display along with the new wire size. In our case, number six is what we need to use. We can also change the wire type. Press set so we can select the second function of the next key we press, then press four. We see that the function is a toggle between copper wire and aluminum wire. Let's set this back to copper wire. We can also change out of the default 60 degrees C insulation rating by pressing set for the second function, then seven for 75 degrees, set then six for 60 degrees, or set then nine for 90 degrees. To change the ambient temperature, use the keypad to enter the value. We're gonna use 45C, then press set, then two, which has a second function of ambient temperature. Press wire size again to see the new value. We can also enter wire sizes directly in. For a two aught wire, for example, enter zero, zero, then press wire size. You will see the size. Press wire size again, and you will see the maximum ampacity from the table. Press again for circular mills, and a final press will display the table reference. You can enter circular mills directly as well. We will use 250,000. Enter the value, then press wire size, and it's displayed. You can also enter it in KC mills. Enter 250, then press kilo, then wire size. You get the same result, but you can enter it just a little bit faster. You can change variables, play what if for different situations to find the optimal size conductor for the situation you're working in. So that's a quick overview of the basic wire sizing function. For more details, refer to the user's manual that came with your ElectroCalc. You can also download the user's manual from calculated.com support.